Hello everyone, my name is MFC Bar. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. Oh gosh, guys, what a cat one post time we have been having on the channel. Now, a few of you have been reaching out to me to, you know, find out how I use moringa leaves in my hair care and to regrow my hair. Now, I have a couple of videos on the channel where I show you where I make my moringa spray, and this, of course, is with a variety of other plants such as aloe vera, neem, and so on. Sometimes I change it up a bit, but in this particular video, we're just going to be zooming in on using the moringa leaves to make a moringa hairspray that I leave on my hair and I spray on for a couple of days during the week just to keep my hair moisturized and to nourish my scalp now as you see I'm gonna be doing it on freshly washed hair right now my hair I'm currently deep conditioning it you know to ensure that I preserve my ends I'm really sorry I was not able to show you the mixture that I use but yes the paste or the mask that I use it does have some moringa in it but guys you're not gonna miss anything I will try to give that to you in another video but for today as I say family we are going to be using the moringa leaves and I might add maybe another ingredient with it but it's gonna be mainly the moringa leaves now let's get into the kitchen and let's start blending for this moisturizer i am using aloe vera and moringa leaves i have a third ingredient that i will mention further down in the video so please ensure that you stay tuned so you know what exactly that is i'm using three small aloe vera leaves and freshly reaped and washed moringa leaves i allow the leaves to sit in a bit of water for a while and this is just to ensure that i remove any kind of insects or debris that may be on them because really now we don't want this in our hair especially on the scalp and again i am using very young leaves as well now i also want to avoid getting any kind of fragment from the leaves on my hair because that can be so hard to get out so we want to do that so i'm just using this cloth strainer to ensure that i strain out as much of the particles as possible the third ingredient is glycerin and this is vegetable glycerin i'm using about half an ounce of the glycerin and family any kind of teas or juices or whatever it is any kind of liquid that you're gonna put on your hair please ensure that you use an ingredient that will help to pull and retain moisture in the hair and glycerin is that ideal ingredient so generally using green juices on the scalp helps to promote healing and restore damaged follicles green juices or leaves on a whole usually contain chlorophyll and chlorophyll helps to stimulate blood flow to the capillaries beneath the scalp and also helps to reduce inflammation on the scalp the moringa and aloe vera together contains loads of vitamin e that is beneficial for the scalp and we know family that vitamin e helps to improve skin condition and so yes family when you put the moringa and aloe vera together it's just gonna help to boost healing now the moringa leaves on its own contains zinc iron vitamin c and a host of other nutrients that also help to restore and promote scalp healing so guys you see why we would have to use our green juices and this is just one of the ways that i use moringa on my hair i have tons of other ways but yes family i use this as my leave-in from time to time i have other recipes that i use as well but this is how i use the moringa leaves on my hair i apply from roots to tips and you know just give it a gentle massage and after that i seal with castor oil this is just to seal in the moisture so that you know the hair stays moisturized for a couple of days so my next moisturizing routine would be on about today sunday it would be about tuesday or wednesday now that's it for this video family thank you very much for watching i hope i was able to impart some knowledge about how we use moringa on our hair see you in the next video <laughs>